We started sponsoring Procom around three years back. Procom.net is a is an older event. It's organized by the students of Fast Institute, and uh, it is it is completely a sponsored based. Uh, event in which students uh, contact different companies, they create their sponsorship, they, they, they organize the whole event. And uh, it started off in 1998. The scope of uh, the first program was really very small compared to what it is today. And uh, uh, the students, I must say, have, have done a really hard work uh, to bring it to a level it is today, it is on today. And uh, and people and companies like like us, like Folio 3 and, and other software companies do have a really big interest in, in going to Procom, attending the event and contributing in terms of uh, sponsorship or in terms of uh, technical resources. So this is the relationship between Folio 3 and Procom. Basically to have this stall at uh, BCJ Fast is the necessity of telling the students that what should they do how should they approach for their career while having the enough information having information or having right information these two are totally different things and we are telling them the right information according to their needs according to their bands according to their requirements and according to the need of the market on the same time this is what helps them to get that right path as a career. I mean that if they are investing some huge amount in their career, so it is not going to be waste if they think accordingly. This is what we are providing them. We are counseling them, in fact, to get with the right path. It's basically to attract the top talent, not just as fa at FAS, because there are other students who will be there from different universities locally within Pakistan. So the idea is to attract the top talent and uh, also, on the other hand, market our products and company to the local market. They say that you have to aim for excellence and success will follow. Don't study for jobs. Study for excellence. And uh, your good graduates will always go places. And uh, in, the, in the last a decade or so, the, the, the distractions that students have uh, out of study uh, have have increased a lot, a lot. When we used to study, we we never had a, had a Twitter or Facebook or well, all these uh, these things. In fact, the internet was text based. With the advent of the internet, with the advent of technology, with the advent of these distractions, the expectation from a graduate have also increased. The person who was asked. To, to produce a small code of a chunk of code 10 years back is expected to produce probably 10 times more now because most of it is already available on the internet. There was a time I was teaching in, in, in an institute and uh, it, that was around eight years back and uh, I was the only one in the class who didn't have a mobile phone. So uh, the concentration does uh, does get distracted, and, uh, and 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 the and the kind of interviews that we do recently, we at times do twenty twenty five interviews to select one good person. Is definitely a good not not a good statistic. So so students need to raise their bar and need to identify what is expected of them, and they they need to come up with some sort of strategy whereby they they are able to produce what the industry demands and the industry demands is growing uh, demands are growing the industry really wants a lot of people right now i mean the the universities are not able to produce all all those good people so the requirement is high but that the requirement is not for the mediocre the requirement is for for the good ones uh, in fact it's uh, it's so sad it's it's even sadder rejecting people so uh, it's uh, I mean, uh, it's it's been almost ten years when I last studied a course, and I I, I still remember some of the definitions which a which a grad who who just passed out doesn't know. And that is even sadder. So this has to work out. And again, uh, <laughs> do your assignments yourself. Do all of your assignments yourself. Internet is providing everything. You don't have to do anything at all, but then you don't learn anything at all. But I have had some uh, some people from from Barnes and Noble, uh, from one of our customers, 
uh, and uh, they pinpointed some of the resources by name that they haven't seen such a talent anywhere in the world. When you when you do software for for people like these people like Warner Brothers, uh, people like MIT or S SAP, you definitely have talent, and it's it's the same people who who are coming from the same universities. Just the the number of good people is very very small. It has to grow. ROI would be in terms of like if we are getting good people from them, getting best people. Like we have like seen, um, because until unless we tell people that what we are, what we are doing, they are not going to come to us definitely. Because software industry is very competitive here in Pakistan. Well, the good thing is that um, in these recession times, we were like able to sustain ourselves. In fact, we were hiring heavily at that time. So that is something that I would say is going to justify my ROI. And if like students are still coming to me and saying that, all right, I know Magic Pakistan, I want to work with you because we have like come across a lot of candidates who were not hired in the, some other round or some historical round of interviews with us only because we didn't have that much of vacancies. But in the next time they applied again, we hired them and they were working with us. And they were, I mean, that they were like um, so enthusiastic the previous time and this time as well so like you are heavily if people are coming to me i would say that my ROI is good this is a very helpful event uh, students can interact with the company with their hr or managers and get to know about the company they can learn what kind of uh, technologies they work on what are their products what, what kind of clients they have what are the growth opportunities why should they choose comp a company over another company and this is a very good opportunity for students to know when they're out in the field once upon their graduation they can uh, make a uh, educated decision which company should they go for and where should they have a better career growth uh, compared to another company the very simple message try to do anything you want to but make it all by yourself investigate it and make it done I would say uh, that uh, you need to do best do best do best do your best during your studies as well uh, develop all your, all your concepts do not limit yourself into technology you should be open for technology but that does not mean that you should be should not be a master of one thing be a master of one thing and try to be a jack to some extent uh, because this is like some arena now that uh, you have different technologies coming up and you are saying that all right i am going to be stuck with one technology then you are definitely going to be stuck in your own domain you are never going to grow up so this industry is like uh, growing like crazy. So you should also be crazy in adapting to new things.